Dunmoreau is a frost-bitten mountainous region whose practically unreachable peaks break the clouds and the skies high above the eastern kingdoms. The homeland of the iron-forged dwarves, the icy canyons which line its winding roads, would seem treacherous to most. But the dwarves are a stout people. Their jovial, if not sometimes fiery temperament, shielding them from the zone's freezing clutches. Dunmoreau's valleys are lined with their villages and settlements, which are nestled all throughout the small patches of level terrain found in the zone. Furthermore, the dwarves are protected from external threats due to the impassable nature of the Cosmodon Mountains, which surrounds Dunmoreau, the only accessible gateways held firmly by sturdy dwarven garrisons. The center of dwarven culture and ingenuity, Dunmoro, holds the capital of Ironforge. This is the ancestral home of the Bronze Beard Dwarves and one of the oldest cities of Azeroth. Ironforge is ruled by the Council of Three Hammers, a regency which watches over the kingdom until the young Dagran Thorasan II, the heir to both the Bronze Beard and Dark Iron Thrones, comes of age. But until that day comes, representatives from each of the major dwarven factions govern in his name. At the center of Iron Forge churns the Great Forge, the heart and namesake of the dwarven capital. The Great Forge never shuts down. It's a loud, hot, and cheerful place, serving not only as the physical center of the city, but as the cultural center for the dwarven way of life. Most citizens regularly pass through the forge, while visitors come to admire its enormity and magnificence. At its center is the famed Great Anvil, where many of the world-renowned dwarven blacksmiths can be found. It was these dwarves who forged the massive, ornate bells which were sent to both Stormwind and Lordaeron, symbolizing the alliance between humans and dwarves, as well as the legendary Ashbringer a sword of mesmerizing beauty and nigh limitless power. Iron Forge is also the current capital for the Alliance's gnomes. Outside the city, these gnomes have been displaced from the seat of their power by both invasive forces from the mountains and malicious players from their own kind. Only a short time ago, they ran a small kingdom from the subterranean city of Gnome Argon place once known for its visually striking steampunk architecture, indicative of its technological ingenuity. However, the gnomish engineer, Sicko Thermaplug, betrayed the people of Gnome Argon. In an ambitious gambit to take control, he convinced the gnomish king to irradiate the entire city in order to halt a small invasive force of trogs. As many of his kind were turned diseased and leprous by the toxic fumes, Thermaplug declared himself king, while the remainder of the healthy gnomes had no choice but to escape to the safety of Ironforge. So now the dwarves and gnomes inhabit the snow-swept land of Don Moro. Together, they make the most of their lives all across its wintry lands, fending off intrusive monsters and hunting the savage wildlife with a deadly shot from a blunderbuss or swift arcane spell. They drink and are merry in the bustling little towns of Anvilmar and Karnos, finding the warm heat of an inn and stiff pint as a remedy to the frozen world beyond. They craft and trade all along the routes leading from Ironforge and tinker with new innovations, testing both their minds as well as their bartering skills. Dunmoro represents resilience and the triumph of culture through betrayal, loss, and unyielding hardship. The harsh, biting landscape is a metaphor for the challenges faced by the Ironforged Dwarves. Yet through their collar, they thrive. Ironforge is a primeval, unyielding city, reflecting the deep connection between tradition and progress. Its magmatic core, allowing expansion all across the freezing mountains outside. The Great Forge symbolizes their warm, industrious spirit, a central force driving both the cultural identity 
as well as the progress of dwarf kind. The dwarves and gnomes persevere in Dunmoro through their shared brilliance, an illumination which shines bright through the bedrock carved by their ancestors. And even when the cold snow piles up in tall heaps around them, the hot fires of Dunmoro will always burn with light and vigor.